Since ever forever. But the Japanese? No. Mm, could be anything. Probably a swear word. <laughs> One, two, three. Bun gang! <laughs> I just did Joe's hair to match mine. All you need now is gold hoops and the black turtleneck and we'll be twinning. Lots of beige, lots of neutrals. <laughs> you know me. You know what I like. <laughs> um, this is getting cut before Christmas. I don't care if I have to strap him down to a chair, to anything. I will be cutting it because it is too long. It's too long. It's too long. Okay, go away. I grew it myself. Well done. <laughs> you are both getting haircuts, Moon. Mini, I'm talking to you. You're getting a haircut. You are. And then you're gonna go for a bath. <gasps> Don't say that word. You're going for a bath. Don't say that word. Hi everybody, so welcome back to Vlogmas, Vlogmas part 10 now. We are pretty much on the home straight. Only two videos left after this one, I can't believe it. Um, so I've just got back from the city this morning, super super brief visit, I was in and out in under an hour. I literally got off the tube, did what I needed to do and then came back again because I didn't really fancy spending too much time in central London right now. It was a lot busier than I expected it to be. I honestly thought it would kind of have died down by now, but not so. Uh, I think that's probably me done now in the city for the rest of the year. I don't think I'll be back again in Central until 2022, which is a crazy thought to think, although we're so close, so, so close to that. Me still processing 2020 and 2022, like one week away. That's how I feel. I can't believe it. It's so close. Anyway, the reason I was in town today was actually a very exciting one. Um, I popped into another stories for a press appointment, um, which is just a dream, honestly. They invited me to come pick out some pieces, uh, so I just spent the morning kind of pottering around the store and um, trying on some clothes, which I did vlog. You probably would have seen a few clips, but I somehow managed to completely mess up my camera um, and turn off one of the settings that basically makes it unwatchable, which is frustrating, to say the least. Uh, so I thought instead I would just try some pieces on for you here and you can see what I picked up. I got three tops and a scarf. This is the first uh, jumper that I picked up and I realised that it looks very similar to what I was actually wearing. I've been living in that black Zara turtleneck jumper, um, really really enjoying wearing it and I saw this and it's kind of similar but very different in a way. It's a much thinner material and it's actually got an elastane in it so it's really stretchy, holds its shape so well and is very structured, it's like a really structured high neck so this like doesn't fold down or anything, it just stays. This with a pair of um, black trousers and like heel black boots would be such a good look and like a nice wool coat over the top. I did try on another coat while I was in the store which I don't think I got any footage of but it was beautiful. Talked myself down though because do I need another cream wool coat? No. So this is the second top that I picked up which is a little bit different actually for me. It's not my normal kind of style, the normal sort of thing I'd go for, but I saw it and just really loved it. I fell in love with this really soft taupe grey colour and I thought it would be such a great layering piece. It's super thin, it's a really fine knit, um, really soft as well. I guess uh, I guess these are like grandad tops, like a grandad top, I think that's kind of the name for them. has a beautiful soft collar and then these buttons, which I think I'd also wear unbuttoned maybe with like a t-shirt or a little racer vest underneath, that could look quite cool. Um, I just really liked it and I thought it was something different, you know, I can't just stick to the same three silhouettes um, and never, never come out of my comfort zone. This again would look great with black trousers and I'd probably wear it with either a pair of Converse's or my Reebok, something kind of white and chunky on the bottom. Uh, so yeah, that was the second thing I got. This was actually on the sale, um, so it will still be on sale now. And I got a couple of sizes up as well, I want it to be like on the more loose and floaty kind of boxy side, which is honestly how I wear all my clothes nowadays. Not sure you're gonna need any guesses as to what was my favorite thing that I picked up today. I am actually a little, just the smallest bit chuffed with myself that I managed to find one of these Another Story Stripe jumpers. This isn't the exact one that I've been kind of searching for and been after for months, but 
it's great. It's a really, really great one. And they just tend to sell out like like that, you know? They come on the website. People have actually started sending me links as soon as they do um, on Instagram, in my DMs. And as soon as I click on them, they're just already gone. They're so popular. So, you know, if you manage to get your hands on something striped and knitted from another stories, you are a very lucky person. So when I saw this, I just grabbed it, literally grabbed it. I think there was one left in my size. And I am so happy with it. As soon as I tried it on, I just thought, yeah, this is the one. This is the piece. It's um, just black and white striped. It's quite a nice chunky knit. It's a little bit on the thick side, nice and warm, and has the half zip. Really into the look of a half zip at the moment. Love that I can wear this, like, really high up if I zip it, which I don't think I can do with one hand. <laughs> or I can have something underneath it, like a little crew neck, and, you know, that can pop through if I zip it further down. Really great length as well, nice chunky sleeves and I can just see myself wearing this all throughout winter. It's going to be one of those key pieces, you know, jeans, chunky boots, a puffer coat on top um, and this is like my kind of go-to weekend chilled vibe kind of outfit and also I think again would look great with trousers. I love how it looks with these trousers. I have seen this one recently on the website, I don't know if it's in or out of stock currently um, but I'll link it down below along with everything else that I've just showing you guys um, just in case. And then this is the scarf that I I got. I've been after a grey scarf for the longest time now and I was actually kind of looking for one that was slightly more of like a cool tone grey, a bit lighter. Saw this and just thought it was beautiful. A really nice, quite like, I don't know, quite like elegant and classy coloured grey. It's not far off black actually so I think this will work really well not only with my lighter colour coats but my darker ones as well. Uh, and it is like a blanket if I open the whole thing up. It is absolutely huge. So yes, I had to get that as well. And then actually on my way out, I've just remembered I saw this. Had to go back to the till and bought this myself because it is absolutely stunning. It's so pretty and dainty. It's a little pearl bracelet with some gold, kind of tiny gold beads on there. I don't know if you can see them. I just thought that was so lovely and so sweet. And I, I've been wearing quite a few like bracelets and things on my wrist. This is so the worst way to show you. There you go, I've been wearing a few of these bracelets along with my watch, which is actually a Fitbit. I get so many questions on this watch. It's just a Fitbit. Uh, and I bought like a chunky cheap gold strap off of eBay. Um, so yeah, I have this like little beaded white bracelet with a moon on and then this other one that Joe got me. And I thought this would be like the perfect addition to my little stack there on my wrist. So really love that. I totally rate another stories jewellery. I wear quite a lot of their their hoops and their earrings and I think it's all really, really great quality stuff. Sober noodles, sesame sober noodles, and spicy tofu. I don't have half of the actual ingredients I need, but we're gonna try and make it work.
Mmm. That's really good. 